Welcome back to and this guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to change region in AWS. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in AWS, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Changing the default region in your AWS account is a straightforward process. But you have to realize that the AWS pricing can vary by region. So if you plan to switch to a region with lower costs for specific services or resources to reduce your overall expenditure, you might want to take advantage of the pricing promotions or discounts that may be available in different regions or your local region. For, for example, you have a switch a uh, country and you went to abroad. Now, some industries and countries may have regulations that require data to be stored within specific geographic locations. In that sense, changing regions can help you meet these legal requirements. And for you to be able to do that, I need you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon or the cog icon settings and go to the more user settings. Once you do that, you would be welcome with an option here that says default region. All they're going to do is click on the edit option here. Now, we have a separate video on how to change the language. But again, all they're going to do is choose the region that will be selected by default in the console each time you log in. All right. Remember that all the regions enabled for your account will appear. Okay, so these are going to be the regions that you have uh, uh, to choose ensure that data is processed and stored in regions that align with your organization's data sovereignty policies because some services or instance types may be available only in specific regions if you require a particular service or configuration and again you may need to change regions right now i'm using a u.s east north virginia and if you're planning to go to asia pacific for example to Mumbai or osaka or singapore you might you are welcome to do so because if you encounter any resource constraints or capacity limits in one region for example you're working in canada and you find it um, limiting you might switch to another region that may help you access the additional resources or instance types if in case you encounter any problems changing your default region here on your aws account just hover to the upper right corner and click on the support center and from here type in your question to see if you get an answer all right otherwise just contact the customer support service and they would give you insights and troubleshooting guides on how to fix the change default region here in aws thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video